How are you going to kill that monster living inside of you, champion, before he kills you and drags you into the torments of hell? You know he's there, and you keep trying to keep him in his coffin, but he keeps popping out. He is your tormentor. God is alive and loves you and wants to save your soul, but you must choose, and I will prove this to you. Close your eyes and say this, Jesus, I am precious to you. God just confirmed that to you. Remember this, God does not send anyone to hell. You send yourself because he came to rescue you out of hell that you were going there. And he suffered a lot of pain to offer you this free gift, but you can refuse. He's not mad at you, he loves you, but you can go to hell if you want to. Because he loves you, he will give you that choice. Watch the rest of this video. It will change your eternal destiny for eight minutes of your time. Adam and Eve made the choice to believe the devil and broke our fellowship. Now on this side is God the Father and me. We are good, perfect, and holy. On the other side is man. The darkness represents sin, sickness, addictions, and curses. God the Father is a just judge. Therefore, he must judge sin. If nothing is done to remove it, sin will separate you from God for eternity. And since we love man and want him to be with us, we had to develop a rescue plan. Do you see this dark spot on my heart? Remember the dark stain in the previous picture that represented your sin? It is now on me. I, Jesus, as God and man, became the legal substitute for you and for all people. What do you mean by that? This is how God, the Father, and I solved the problem of justice. Let me explain. I said, Father, I will take the blame for all their sins, and you may kill me in their place so that they can go free. I want to give them a new spirit, transform their minds, and heal their bodies. So I let God the Father take me as your substitute so that he can legally declare you not guilty when you are actually guilty. Isn't that good news? This is also a picture of our love for you. Explain that to me, Jesus. If a stranger said to you, I love you, because you don't know him, you might not believe him, right? But if a robber tried to shoot you and the stranger took the bullet for you and died in your place, then you would believe him. Because he not only said it, but proved it with an action. Friend, I not only said that I loved you in the Bible, I demonstrated it on the cross 2,000 years ago, publicly before thousands of witnesses, just to prove to you that I loved you. Then they buried me in a tomb and placed Roman guards outside. They did that because I predicted that I would come back to life in three days. It was not their idea to place the guards there. It was mine. They just supplied the proof for me. No guards, no proof. Everyone was afraid that my disciples would steal my body. Then the impossible happened. My love for you rolled open that tomb on the third day, just as I predicted. How do I know that this is really not just a myth? Oh, my friend because I provided more than 500 witnesses that saw me over 40 days on earth before I returned to heaven. You can believe this. They ate with me. I even invited them to put their hands in my wounds. Now ask yourself, have you ever heard of any religion giving you this kind of evidence with a guarantee of eternal life? 12 of my apostles were tortured and killed because they would not deny my resurrection. Friend, the truth is, that I conquered death, hell, and the devil to enable you to enter into my kingdom. The Bible says that I am the only way, the truth, and the life, and that no man can come to the Father but by me. I am your bridge to heaven. Have you ever experienced a miracle? Remember, in the first picture, the color of your spirit? This heart now looks like mine. If God would turn your dark, sinful,
full heart, as pure as snow, wouldn't that be a miracle? When this happens, you are in my family as a child of God. There may still be battles in your life, but I will clean them up. Dear friend, the facts are there is a real heaven and a real hell. If there wasn't, I would have been a fool to go through all that pain and suffering on the cross for you. But I loved you and all mankind so much that I had to give you the opportunity to grab my hand, just like Adam. How do I do that, Jesus? You grasp it through faith and by a lifetime commitment, just like in a marriage covenant. For example, suppose you were swimming in the ocean and having a great time when the lifeguard in a boat cries out a warning that a great white shark is certainly ready to attack you. He shouts to you, grab my hand, let me pull you to safety. But you say, no thanks, I like swimming out here. If the shark kills you, whose fault would it be? Yours, right? The lifeguard cannot force you to get into his boat. That choice is yours. I am that lifeguard, extending my hand to you. When you grasp it and pray, a miracle will happen. I promise to give you a new, pure spirit just like mine, and my father and I will come to live inside of you. Please be sincere about this, because it caused me a lot of pain and suffering to offer you this free gift. My friend, reach out your hand towards the screen now, as if you were grabbing my hand, and you repeat this prayer after me. While you are speaking, I will bring you into the safety of my eternal life, and no devil or any of his lies will ever be able to drag you into hell. Pray this after me. Father God, I realize I am a sinner. I repent. I take you, Jesus, as my Lord and my only God, and I will serve you forever. I renounce you, Satan. I forgive all those who have hurt me. I forgive myself. I renounce the spirit of anger, bitterness, revenge, rejection, depression, suicide, witchcraft, lust, drugs, etc. Now, champions, cough three times. All you demons, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, you come up and out. You come up and out. You come up and out. Out! Fire! 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 The Holy Ghost on you. Hey, now, champions, you're all free. You're all cleansed. You're born again. Now, Jesus said, fill the house up with the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? <laughs> Here it comes, a blessing. Can I give you one more blessing? Say this, Jesus, baptize and fill me with your Holy Spirit, the gift of tongues, with fire, fire, fire. Now take three big deep breaths. You feel that inside, that's the Holy Spirit. Now speak by faith your language. Shakala moke li akala moke okoha moka la moka ikili amoka ha ha receive the joy of the holy spirit love peace and joy and champions you're in the family of god you're a son of god or a daughter of god you're no more a son of the devil and if you sin you're not out of god's family all you need to do is say, I repent, forgive me, Father. That's what you do in a family. You're not out of the family. But if you don't repent, you, you start getting ashamed and you go away from God. God loves you and he will never be mad to you. So but if you've been in a witchcraft or some deep hurts in your life, molestation or something like that, you might want to get a deliverance when you get baptized. Before you get baptized, get the demons out of your flesh. Your spirit is absolutely changed. You're going to heaven. But demons live in your flesh. And that's why some sin still dominates you. You've got to get the demons out of your flesh. And that's the land that Jesus wants you to take over. So don't worry about it. Just get a deliverance. Cast them out. Hey, God bless champions. <laughs> Enjoy it. Close your eyes and say this, Jesus, 
I'm precious to you. <laughs> hey, and uh, remember, you're 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 Christ the body on earth. You're the lion of Judah, and if he wants to roar, let him roar, L E U. On three, let's roar. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! God bless you. If you get on my websites, <laughs> you want to stay on fire, full of life and joy. Speak to the Holy Spirit every day. Speak in tongues. The reason most Christians have a lack of power enjoying their life they do not talk to the holy spirit he's become your best friend talk to him all the time speak in tongues and the fire 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 the holy ghost will charge you and take those three deep breaths during the day after you say fire 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 you'll feel his presence god bless you champion <laughs> and one last thing close your eyes and say this jesus i'm precious to you <laughs> hey, and uh, remember, you're 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 Christ the body on earth. You're the Lion of Judah, and if he wants to roar, let him roar. L E U on three, let's roar. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! God bless you. If you get on my websites. <laughs> hey, and also, just pray to the Father when you want to talk to Him. That's how you talk to God, and then read your Bible when you want to hear Him talk. And, and, and go to a good spirit-filled church. Get baptized in water. That's what Christians do. And they tell people about Jesus. That's what disciples do. They don't just study. They go out and lay hands on the sick. They, 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 they pray for people. They cast out demons. That's what disciples do. So go out, champions. Hey, us, uh, uh, come on to my website, fbichrist.com. Let me know uh, what you think of the video if you accepted Christ. Or go to my YouTube site, Art Montgomery, Facebook, Art Montgomery. Uh, I'm all over the world. I teach this stuff. God bless, champions. And uh, fire, fire, fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. You lion of Judah. Ha, ha, ha. Ah! Roar like a lion. Jesus lives in you. Lion of Judah, roar out of you, champion. Ah! Let it come up. That's a fire of God. You, you, you just don't live a life. You know, how, how do you know you're a, uh, you're a human instead of an animal? Well, you pray every day over your food. You don't pray over your food, you're probably, a, you're probably an animal. Dog doesn't uh, pray over his food. Humans pray over the food because they realize it's not. And uh, that's these atheists over there. They act like animals. And they're destined to hell. You don't fire. You can call you, man. You look like you're walking fire. I'm putting out fire, fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. I'm releasing the anointing right now. Fire, fire, fire. I'm releasing the fire of God all upon you. Releasing the goodness of God right now. It's hitting you right now. It's going up and down your legs right now. Right now. Now it's going across your body. Right now. It is fire, 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 fire. The anointing is hitting you right now. You can feel it. Headaches are going. Uh, uh, back aches are going. Arthritis is going. Stomach pain is going. Right now, release the anointing. The anointing is getting you. Not me, it's an anointing. It's an anointing of the Holy Ghost coming off on you right now. Oh, it's going great, man. Fire, fire, fire. What is that, everybody? It will eat you up. And that kingdom is the kingdom we're in. We are wrapped into it. And we are kings and priests in that kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Death does not run over you. The reign of Jesus Christ is right in the